let's learn about reading big numbers. You'll notice that we have the number, and you don't read it, 9273652842. That's not how you read big numbers. That's not how you read any numbers. What we do is we read this according to their periods and according to their place value. So we talk about that millions period first. So you say 927 million 365,284. So I mentioned that word period, and what that means is that there is a millions period in this number. The digits 9, 2, and 7 appear in this millions period. In the thousands period of this number, we have the digits 3, 6, and 5. And then we have the ones period, 2, 8, and 4. You'll notice that there are three different periods in this number, and there are also three digits in each of those periods. We have another number here, and I've written this number in what's called standard form. This is the regular way that we write out numbers. And again, what we're going to do is we look at each of these numbers here, and we look at each of the periods of the number. We're going to read this as millions, and we'll read this here as thousands when we come across it. And then so what we'll do is we'll take a look at each of those periods one at a time. So how do you read the numbers 3, 6, 3? How do you read the numbers 3, 6, 3? What would you say? You would say 363. And then so what we're going to say is 363. And we'll say 363 million. We don't say millions, and that's why I erased the S there. The other thing that you have to be very careful of is that you do not want to say any ands. Okay? Don't say any ands. So we'll say 363 million. Now for this next one, be careful. What are you going to say? 205. 205. And for this next one, and this next period, for the ones period, you would say 478. So let's read that all together again. 363,205,478. We have this number here, which we want to read. Again, let's concentrate on each of those periods and each of those different periods. They're separated by that comma. You'll notice in the millions period this time that we only have two digits. In the thousands period, we do have three digits still. And in the ones period, we also have three digits, even though one of those digits is a zero. How do we read 4, 7? How do you read 4, 7? Right, we say 47. We say 47. How do we read 2, 3, 5? How do we read 2, 3, 5? Right, we say 235. How do we read 6, 0, 2? Right, we say 602. Now remember that first comma is going to be million. And after we say 235, we're going to go ahead and say thousands. And so I'll go ahead and put that in there. You'll notice I put a hyphen in there just to be more precise. Reading the whole thing again, it's 47,235,602. And looking at that number again, 47,235,602. I'm going to write a numbered number right above this. And let's see if you can read this number for me. Remember, be very careful. Don't say any ands. You read. 
I'll listen really carefully and see if I can hear you. Listen to me. 63,962,037. Did I hear an and? Or maybe it was just my hearing. 63,962,037. Wow, this number is even larger. You'll notice that there is not only a ones period, there is a thousands period, there is a millions period, and the period after the millions, it's called the billions period. It's the billions period. And then so, this will be read billion. Don't be scared by this larger number. All you need to do is just follow those same steps that we had stated before. What do you say? 28, right. And then we're going to say what? Billion. 28 billion. Say it. 324 what? Million. How do you read this? How do you read 060? 60. 60 what? Thousand. And that's it. Put it all together. 28 billion. 324,060,000. You'll notice that I typed out the, what we call this is the word form of the number. It's exactly what we say. You just have to write it all out. 28,324,060,000. And then so, this up here was the standard form. And this right here is what we call the word form for this larger number. It's just what we read. Just have to write it. And that's why it's in words. I have this I have this number here, and this number now is in short word form. And I'm gonna ask you to write it into standard form. I'm gonna ask you to write it into standard form. Remember to Put three digits in each and every single period. And so, for instance, if we look at 20 million, remember there's supposed to be three digits in that period. So we would write it 0, 2, 0. You try, you're writing it in standard form, and what that means is we're just writing the numbers. Hit pause. So, writing out those numbers, 471 billion, you write 4, 7, and 1 first. To write 20 million, how did you write 20 million? Remember, you had to put three digits in there. Hopefully, you put a 0 as your placeholder, and then a 0, 2, 0. Take a look at the rest of your problem if you need to. For 7,000, you put 0, 0, 7. And for 24, again, we have a 0 as a placeholder, and we put 2, 4. Now, if we looked at that thousands period, right, this 7 right here is, is in the thousands place, so it is worth 7,000. If we read this whole number, read it with me, please. 471 billion, 20 million, 7,024. Read it quickly. 471 billion, 20 million, 7,024. Did I beat you there? I'll let you try it again. 471 billion, 20, 20 million, oops, I messed up. 471 billion, 20 million, 7,024. So that's reading large numbers. Try not to say and. <laughs> 